It's 2023, and there's a new method on how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One. I know it's been about a year since I made a video like this, but today, we're going to be checking out the latest and greatest method on how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One. Crazycraft, Pixelmon, and even gun mods are now obtainable on Xbox. Watch the videos to the very end to figure out how to get mods. Trust me, it will actually shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video and today I'm going to be going over how to get mods for Minecraft Xbox One. I'm super excited because I haven't made this video in over a year and it wasn't looking good for MC Add-on Manager so I decided to go ahead and look for a brand new method and lucky for you guys I was able to figure it out. But if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing when post cases is on, like the video and comment something nice because it would be greatly appreciated but anyways let's go to jump right into it. So in order to follow along with this tutorial, you're going to need three applications. One is going to be Minecraft, which you probably already have installed. You're going to also need Microsoft Edge, but you probably don't have File Explorer. So you want to go ahead and press on Y on your controller and type in my file explorer. I already have it installed, but once you go ahead and install this, it's going to ask you for this game application to get expansion. Click on A basically, and this expansion essentially allows you to access Minecraft files, which is really helpful. You actually will see that it does cost $2.99. I went ahead and bought it just because I used this so much, but what I recommend going ahead and doing is basically starting the free trial and start up new accounts to get mods i know it's a tedious process but this is typically the only way to get mods at the moment but let's go ahead and jump into microsoft edge and i'll show you guys where to install mod so you want to head over to this nifty website called mcdl hub which is actually conveniently owned by me it has the latest and greatest minecraft mods that you guys can go ahead and discover me personally i want to put my xbox to the test so i'm going to be downloading crazycraft so i'm going to go ahead and click on this application like this go ahead and close out and all you guys have to go ahead and do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the mods i'll meet you guys at the bottom of the page once you guys get to the bottom of the page, typically that's where the download link is going to be for all sites. I'm going to go ahead and click on download just like this, and you guys can be greeted with link for ties. So if you guys run into an issue like this where it's asking you to go ahead and download an application, it's actually pretty simple to get around. Go ahead and click on this link right here, press on B, click on the three little dots on the right of the controller just like this, and click on copy. You want to click on link bypasser and this is basically going to bypass any type of ad link so this is actually pretty easy to get past. You want to paste it in here by clicking the three dots again and click on A when it says paste. Now you need to go ahead and bypass the link just like that and it's going to go ahead and give you the bypassed link. So when you get to this media fire for me it's going to be an MC add-on file but sometimes you might run into MC packs which are pretty much the same thing and I'll show you guys how to actually extract this. We also do have an MC ruin so let's go ahead and add this to our Minecraft files just by clicking on download. But before you guys actually go ahead and download this, you need to go ahead and copy the link of this bypassed link, just like this, copy. Then you wanna head back to My File Explorer, just like this, and this is actually the normal version. You wanna head back to Game Expansion, which is going to have the feature that we're looking for. Click on Download From URL, just like this, and you guys can simply paste in the link here. Double click on the URL box and all you need to go ahead and do is paste in the link. Click on the three little dots just like that. Click on paste and you guys are good to go. So once the text box is up like that, it was a little bit confusing for me, but as you can see, it's ready to download. Once you have your mod, we're going to go ahead and paste this into the Minecraft folder. Simply click on the three little dots and click on copy. Then you want to go ahead and click on packages and you want to find microsoft.minecraft.uwp. Mine's was closer to the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Then local states, games, com.mojang, and here is your folder. Once you guys get to this area, it's very important that you have all of these. So behavior packs, resource packs, skin packs, Minecraft world. So very important that you have all of these folders right here. If you don't have them, make sure to go ahead and create them by simply clicking on the three lines again and clicking on new folder. And you guys will be going to type it in. It's very important to have it cap sensitive as well in the underscore and packs. So it packs with an S. 
very, very important. But now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and paste the file that we just got into here. Now what you want to go ahead and do is click on extract and just wait for it to extract. It is going to take a long time. As you can see, it's going to do it. We are currently at 4% and this is just a pro tip. If this doesn't work for you, you might want to go ahead and shorten the name of the file simply by clicking on the three little dots and then renaming it. And this is kind of more advanced because it's not necessary, but it's just a little bit of a tip. Also, what you can go ahead and do is make sure that your file is a .zip as well. I've seen sometimes that .zip files work faster, but I'm just going to go ahead and wing it and use the MC add-on file. So I'll be back in about five minutes once this is done. Install completed for others. Some might be processing. You can actually ignore this and you're going to go ahead and see a folder here. As you can see, it's basically telling me that all of these have installed. And honestly, it was a lot of packs, which is actually pretty cool. So we can go ahead and just ignore all of that. So basically, it's just getting all the packs together. Once all of my 11 packs are done, now all I need to do is actually put them in the right folders. So it's very important that you put them in the resource folder and behavior pack folder respectively. As you can see, I have resource folders here. Let's go ahead and click on the manifest file. Click on open. And if you scroll down to type, it should say resource or data. Data basically means behavior and resource actually means just that, a resource pack. Luckily for me, it seems like they automatically have done it now, but if you actually change it to a zip, I believe it may actually not do it. So if you have to go ahead and do it manually, be very careful and actually move them into the right folders by copying the file, then going over to the right folder, which would be like behavior pack or resource pack, and basically click onto a blank space and click on paste file, just like that. And you guys will actually be able to go ahead and get your mods inside of here. It's very important that you guys install as many mods as possible because the next method is going to be the reinstall method. So once you have all of your mods inside of your com.mojang folder, now it's time to go ahead and do the reinstall method. Again, I believe I do have the right Minecraft, but I want to show you guys how to get the right Minecraft. That is this one right here instead of the one with Game Pass, which honestly, I don't even have Game Pass, so I don't think I can possibly get it at the moment. But let's go ahead and make sure that our Microsoft store is up to date. Go ahead and click on manage app. And if you don't see anything here, you guys are good to go. Next, you want to go into the Microsoft store. I do want to preface this that there is a chance that you could lose a little bit of progress on your world. It's not terrible, but I know a lot of people have important survival worlds and I don't want to go ahead and mess it up for you guys. So definitely go ahead and proceed with caution. But if you don't have anything to lose, then go ahead and enter the Microsoft store just like this. And what you want to go ahead and do is click on Y and search for Minecraft. Once you type in Minecraft, you want to go ahead and find the starter pack, which is going to be the $29.99 one that you see here. Don't worry, you're not going to buy this. You want to scroll down until you find included in bundle. So right here, we are actually at that point and you want to go ahead and click on the plastic texture pack just like this. But we're not installing this texture pack. We're going to be scrolling down until we get to works with and you want to go ahead and click on here and install this version of Minecraft. Once you click on install, it is going to take a while to actually do this. So be very, very patient. As you can see, it's not really going to be moving for me for about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So once it's done, so it only took me about under a minute and a half, which is absolutely insane. But in order to tell which one it's going to be, it's actually pretty simple. Simply click on the three dots or lines on your controller and go ahead and click on manage app and game. And you can tell by the size, this one is going to be 3.4 gigabytes, which definitely doesn't seem like the version that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and uninstall it. Click on uninstall all just like this and you'll be able to go and uninstall. So once that is installed, you want to go ahead and click on the new version of Minecraft we just got. And it's going to say Minecraft needs an update. That's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and update it and update it just like any other game. And once this is done, you guys will have mods for Minecraft Xbox One. So I'm actually at the last stretch of the update and I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that installing Minecraft itself is very easy, but getting the update takes about 5 to 15 minutes. It can even take up to 30 minutes, so just be very patient. I'm doing this live for you guys just to show you exactly why it's supposed to be like this. I believe it's trying to install packs from a server. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and wait until this is done. 
and things are finished so let's go ahead and jump into minecraft and you guys will see all of your mods here let me make sure that you guys are going to get the best experience out of your mods i'll meet you guys in minecraft so i'm on minecraft right now i'm going to go ahead and create a brand new world to show you that there are mods on this game so we're going to go ahead and go down to experimental first. This is the first thing you should probably end up doing is turning on all the experimental features. As you can see, I'm turning on every single one, even the ones for the new updates. Then you want to go up to resource packs and you want to make sure that you have both the behavior pack and resource pack of your mod. So I do need to add all of these packs, but this is probably the craziest mod that you guys can get on Minecraft. So I'll show you guys all of these being loaded in just like this. Once you have all your packs added, simply click on create and you're going to see every single mod. I hope this actually loads perfectly for me because I believe some of the packs for me I already had on here, which may be older versions. So as you can see, the pack actually works. So we have creatures like this. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in some pretty crazier things too. So after getting out of a huge mesa, I'm not even joking. I've been flying for two minutes. I just wanted to show you guys the custom structures and all the custom weapons that they have in this pack. And honestly, it's absolutely insane. Just take a look at this. You actually have like this spider plant. What the heck is that thing? Whoa. Okay. So there's like a whole war. Go Whoa. Whoa. What the? What is going on here? Okay, so this is absolutely insane. You can see, like, there's fighter jets everywhere. This is just absolute mayhem. But definitely be very careful in this mod pack. If you guys follow the tutorial exactly with me, you guys know this mod pack is crazy. I do want to show you guys some of the cool weapons that I was able to go out and get. Take a look at this anti-weapon. Ooh! Hold on, I gotta go ahead and kill something real quick. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I have the anti-tech laser gun. So I do want to show you guys some of the cool weapons. Hold on, I'm gonna hit it. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, wait, it's actually not doing any damage. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so let's try one of these. Let's try... Actually, this is the anti-tech. Whoa! Okay, the anti-tech is definitely doing a lot of damage. As you can see, just kill one of those moose-looking things. But you can see, definitely, this pack has tons of different things. Multiple different sets of armor. Multiple sets of weapon. You guys definitely want to go ahead and check this out. Over 100 different creatures. Custom quest. And even custom structures. I love this pack so much. It is one of my favorites. But anyways, I will see you guys next time on the next video for Shift Report. Bye.